Hello, I'm Joachim, I'm from Germany, and if you use those telephoto zoom lens, you do not only have this distortion which you can see here, you also have extreme chromatic aberration. You cannot get rid of it totally, and in this case, and quite some other cases, it's way beyond what Photoshop lens correction can do. But there is a way to manually help that. So when we have it here, We run, in that case, a script just to show what could be the result. You can see still the color fringing around here. Okay, script is working on. And as you can see, this is the result. And how do you get there if you have this as input? This is really extreme color stuff. And this is quite clean here. This is much easier to show with a test picture, of course. So this is also just a test picture, so you can see the extreme color aberration, which is outside the center. And the first step, in that case to do it manually, the first step is actually finding the real center of the color, of the chromatic aberration. So we have to layer it and search where is the center. It should be around here. Let's see, it's from the left, bit right, bit right, yes. There is the color starting again, and here is the color fringing starting again as well. It should be around here, the center. Uh, more like here. Now we have centered it. The next thing is to duplicate the layer. We want separate channels for red, green, and blue. So layer it, duplicate it again, and we give them good name. Red, green and blue. We also have to set those layers to lighten, because the normal way it doesn't work here. You should add, you should add those colors, which we are doing now. Off so we can see it better. Now we have to filter this so this is only red. The easiest way to do this is using image, adjustments and levels. At least that's the way I do it here. There are many ways to do that. Hold it. We have to kill everything except red. So we take green. We take blue. Now we have to do the same again for the green layer. Just levels, kill everything except green. And the last layer for blue. We have to kill everything except blue, of course. And now we can switch around, so we can see they actually add up to the final picture. Now the next step is to do the lens correction separately for each color. And that's the trick here. So we do the lens correction for the red layer. In that case, in custom, you can do, you can try to do it by hand here going around until you have it right. In that case, I know the right value to get a good correction, minus minus 10.8. Now, next for the green layer. Again, filter, lens correction, custom, in that case, it's minus 10, exactly. And for the blue layer, oh, I'm pretty close to the center. As you can see here, it's a bit more to the left, actually. You might see it in the final result. If you don't have the center correctly, you might have some color arrows still left there. So in that case, it's minus 
what was it, 9.2. And as you can see, we are pretty much spot on. So no matter how strong the chromatic aberration is, you can correct it with Photoshop, even if the normal lens correction doesn't do it perfectly or can't do it right. And as you can see, it's pretty much around the center, very much spot on. And if you go to the to the corners, you can see, oh, there's still room to improve it. So I will have to play a bit with those values again. So it will be really perfect. Of course, the easier way to do it is to have it ready as a script. In that case, this one. Oh, and I forgot to correct the center here again, so you will see way more colors. Working on it. And as you can see, the color fringe is still stronger, just because I forgot to set the center for the second demonstration here. Well, bad luck. And if we go back to the first picture, this is what we want. This is our output. You can also check here on the right where I hit the limits of the correction. There's also a limit somewhere. You can fine tune it. And if we compare it to the original, well, colors are without end. So, good luck. Have fun replicating it. I made this tutorial simply because there was nothing about how to correct this extreme, this extreme acroma, this extreme chromatic aberration. Okay, there was no tutorial to correct this extreme aberration. There is only normal lens correction, and it cannot handle this strength of uh, errors. So, have luck. Bye.